Hey everyone, welcome back. Today we're going to dig into something kind of surprising. The idea that being kind, like genuinely kind, can actually lead to inner peace. Yeah, it's like you're out there making other people feel good, but somehow it comes back and boosts your own well-being too, you know? It's like almost counterintuitive, right? We're usually told inner peace is about meditation, mindfulness, all that jazz. Exactly, focusing on ourselves, right? But this is different. Totally. So we're diving into this link between altruism and, well, feeling freaking fantastic. We're using this book, Zen Secret, as our guide. It's kind of cool. It's not like those cheesy self-help books. It dives into Zen Buddhism and how practicing kindness can lead to inner peace. Okay, so the basic idea, right, is that when we focus on helping others, it can actually quiet down all that noise in our own heads, like those worries and anxieties. It does sound a bit backwards, right? Like, wait, I should help others to feel better myself. Exactly. So how does this even work? What's the logic here? Well, a lot of it comes down to this concept of interconnectedness. You know, yeah. the idea that we're all part of this big web of life, not just these isolated individuals. Right, like what goes around comes around, that kind of thing. Exactly. And Zen Secret actually puts it beautifully. It says, um, in the embrace of compassion, our worries dissolve like knots untied in the warmth of the sun. Whoa, that's a powerful image. It is, right? It's like when we act with kindness, we're sort of aligning ourselves with this natural flow of give and take, you know? Okay, so instead of constantly worrying about our own stuff, we shift our focus outward. Think about others. And that, in turn, kind of creates this sense of inner harmony. Okay, so how does Zen Secret make this idea practical? Like, how do we actually apply this interconnectedness thing in our everyday lives? Yeah, totally. So it uses this cool analogy of a pebble being dropped into a pond, mm -hmm. right? The ripples, they don't just vanish, they keep going expanding outwards. So we're like the pebble and our actions are the ripples. Exactly. When we're kind, it's like those ripples, they spread out, they touch other people, and eventually they even come back to us. Wow, I never thought about it like that. It's like this domino effect of good vibes. Right. And even small acts of kindness, like bringing a coworker their favorite coffee or just being a listening ear for a friend, they all create these ripples. And Zen Secret says that even these tiny acts, they can spark something really positive within us too. Yeah, and it's not just some feel-good philosophy, there's actual science backing this up. Really? Tell me more about that. Well, there's this whole field called positive psychology, and they've been doing studies on this for years. They've found that acts of kindness, they actually release endorphins in the brain. Wait, endorphins? Isn't that the stuff you get from like a runner's high? Exactly, yeah. the same stuff. So it's like being kind literally gives you a happiness boost. Wow, that's wild. So this isn't just some abstract idea, there's a real biological basis for it. It seems like it, yeah. And get this, there was a study at Harvard, and they found that even just thinking about doing something kind, it actually led to physiological changes in people's bodies, like changes associated with happiness. No way, just thinking about it. Yeah, isn't that crazy? Yeah. It's like our brains and bodies are hardwired for this stuff. So to bring this all back, I gotta ask, is kindness like the secret ingredient to living a stress-free life? That's the million dollar question, <laughs> right? It's obviously not a magic solution. Life's gonna throw curveballs no matter what, but consistently choosing kindness. It can definitely help cultivate that inner peace we're all chasing. It's more about shifting our perspective like we were talking about before. Exactly. Remembering we're all connected that our actions impact others, and that even the smallest gestures can make a difference. I love that, that even the smallest gestures can create those ripples, like you were saying. It's about approaching life with a little more generosity, a little more compassion, not just for others, but for ourselves too, you know? Okay, so as we wrap up this deep dive into Zen Secret and this whole idea of kindness as a path to inner peace, here's something to chew on. What if we stopped viewing acts of kindness as like chores on our to-do list? What if we saw them as opportunities to actually cultivate our own sense of peace? Like flipping the script, right? Totally. Like, how would that change our approach? How would it change our interactions with others, even the way we move through the world? Just something to think about.